This week, our On Your Side team learned of a World War II veteran who was forced out of his home because of a fire. A local nonprofit headed by two retired GSO officers is now trying to restore the veterans' home, but they need help. So the retired officers met our Ken Amaro at Metro Diner this past Monday and told Ken their mission. Charles Rountree is a retired educator and he served during World War II. This is his home. He's been in this house since 1961. But now he's been displaced by a fire and he's trying to get back in. Almost every day, Mr. Roundtree comes to his burned out home in Durkeyville. I come over here and just uh, sit in the backyard and hope. And hope. And wish. Yes, sir. So you miss being in your house? Yes. It is where he raised his family on a teacher's salary. I taught 32 years. It is where he wants to be the rest of his days. Be 95 October, I'm not born at 24. You want to be back in your house? You want to be back in your home? I love to. A fire in 2016 destroyed his home, but he had no insurance. What brings you in? This week at Metro Dinah, I met Cy and Silas Austin. We have full permits. The two retired JSO correctional officers operate Tubrail, a nonprofit. And they have made it their mission to get Mr. Roundtree back into his home. And everything has been approved through the city, so now we're at the donation phase. The nonprofit now has a contractor and building plans, but it is in need of funds. We are donating to his cause, but he needs help. And, and I believe a lot of his students would love to help him. The budget, approximately $60,000. And so far, you close to 10. Mr. Roundtree, still in his right mm -hmm. mind, says life hasn't been the same since the fire. It's just uh, like lost, misplaced, and got that. If you can help, there's a link in this story on firstcoastnews.com. Canamero, First Coast News, on your side.